Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, and at arms and Orko. Together, we defend Castle Greyskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Silence! Thundering fall! Get out of my sight! Welcome to my lair. You fell right into my trap, you flea bag. Hey everybody, welcome to Skeletor's Comic Lair. Thanks for checking out my channel here. Uh, I'm your host, Skeletor, the real Skeletor. Over the past couple weeks, I've been picking up some books here and there, and uh, I ended up picking up a lot more than I was expecting. And since I'm picking up so much good stuff, I figured I'd share it because I've seen... One of the reasons that I've been getting back into comic book collecting is because I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos, and I love the community, and I'm learning a lot of stuff I never knew. So um, it's really cool to be able to see everybody's collection and see that there is really nice books that are uh, within reach for you know my price range. Uh, I'm not someone who likes to buy a lot of really expensive books. I kind of look for the, the books that are under $10.00. When I can get a deal, and uh, I've recently become a lot more interested in Silver Age and Bronze Age, but I've also been pleasantly surprised by um, the variety of currents that are so cool. And today, uh, one of the first things I wanted to show you guys was uh, Hip Hop Family Tree, which was the 2015 Eisner Award winner for Best Reality-Based Book. Uh, and this book actually tells the story of different uh, hip hop artists and. Um, it kind of says it in the name, but I ended up picking up uh, the second issue over here. Uh, I picked this one up first, so I was a little late to the game on it, uh, and I couldn't find a number one anywhere, but I ended up finding this Kanye West variant on eBay for cover price with free shipping, and uh, I was stoked on that. It looks pretty cool. Um, if you do get a chance to check out this series, definitely do it. The art and the way it's presented are really cool. Uh, it's kind of a throwback style. Uh, and overall, I've, I've really enjoyed this book so far, and I definitely recommend it. Uh, next up is another book that I've really been enjoying. Uh, we Stand on Guard, which is uh, an image comic. This is a, a issue five. And this tells the story of... Um, it's kind of what happens after global warming and uh, there's no more water in the United States, so we end up uh, invading Canada. It's a crazy story. There's really cool artwork in it. Um, I definitely see this becoming uh, a movie. Honestly, hopefully they do a good job with it, but uh, I picked that one up. Next up is an issue uh, that I was recommended by my brother to get, and this is uh, Niobe. Uh, this one is by Stranger Comics, and this is the story of a, a orphaned elf teen. Um, it looks pretty cool. I did get a chance to open it up. I haven't read it yet, but the the art in it is really, really cool looking. Uh, definitely worth a pickup. Can't wait to read that one. Uh, next up, I grabbed uh, Batman Arkham Knight number 10. Uh, nothing really special about that one. Uh, one thing that really interested me this last month was the Monsters of the Month variant covers. Uh, there's 25 in total. I picked up a few of them, uh, the ones I could find at cover price. I don't really like paying a ton for these because uh, they're just kind of, you know, just, I don't necessarily collect uh, Flash or Sinestro, but I really did like, I like the Grumpy Cat. That's pretty funny. Um, so I picked those up. Uh, next up, we have The Amazing Spider-Man number three. Pretty cool cover with the Human Torch. Um, I usually like to pick up a few uh, issues of each series before I start reading it. So now I have three of this series. I'll actually start reading it. Um, I picked it up based on the art. I really enjoy the art style in it, and it's kind of hyper-realism. Um, so I can't, read to read, can't wait to read that one. Uh, picked up this vision, uh, number one. Haven't had a chance to even open this book yet, but uh, this came also highly recommended. 
Of course, I had to pick up Secret Wars number six. I was a little late to the party on this one as well. Uh, one of the craziest storylines uh, in a Marvel book I've read in a long time. If you haven't gotten a chance to read this book, I definitely recommend it. And again, this is another one where the art is just pretty much insane inside. Um, it looks like it's all painted. It's really, really cool. Um, next up, I found Uncanny X-Men variant number 600. Uh, not really collecting this, but I really enjoyed the cover on this. Uh, you can see the Sentinels up here looming. Pretty cool cover. Um, kind of a sucker for a variant cover, so had to grab that one. Another thing that really interested me this month was the Kirby variant covers. And this is the Ant-Man number one featuring the Scarlet Beetle from Tales to Astonish number 39. Pretty cool. Uh, I like that he's usually using a broccoli as a weapon. That's pretty, pretty funny. And then we have uh, Karnak number one, which is the monster here is Rambu. And that's from Tales to Astonish number 18. Pretty scary looking. It actually looks like the shit monster from uh, Dogma. But <laughs> I really like that cover. Um, next up, Miss Marvel number 19. And this is Wrecker's Robot from, from uh, Fantastic Four number 12. And I really enjoy the art on this cover. The really throwback retro looking robot is super cool to me. Um, so I had to grab that one. And then uh, Spider... Uh, we got the spider Gwen here with the hypno creature on the front from Tales of Suspense number 23. And of course, all these are uh, Jack Kirby monsters. So they're paying homage to Jack Kirby this month with his monsters. Uh, similar like the monsters of the month that DC did. I'd say I actually like the monsters of the month from DC a little bit better. But Jack Kirby's really cool. So those are some cool... cool uh, issues to pick up and then one thing that's been going on that i really like because i'm a huge hip-hop fan was these hip-hop variant covers that have been coming out and uh of course this is the astonishing ant-man number one ready to shrink and paying homage to biggie with the ready to die album and then uh i'm not a big fan of howard the duck but i had to pick up the old dirty bastard uh howard the duck variant and then next up, I got uh, Extraordinary X-Men, number one. And uh, this is, of course, the De La Soul cover. Uh, huge De La Soul fan here in the Bay Area. Then we have uh, Deadpool, number one variant, uh, Wale. Pretty cool. I actually really like the Wale album, so that was a cool one to get. And then uh, last but not least, I picked up the Karnak uh, with the Schooly Boy. Uh, excuse me, Sco uh, <laughs> Schooly D homage cover here and uh that this is something that i think is really cool um you know the art inside isn't the same as on the cover obviously um but i think it's really cool that they're paying homage to all these hip-hop artists and uh there's a wu-tang one that i really want to get so i'll be on the lookout for more of those whoops all right next up uh, i have some some more currents that I picked up, uh, the Deadpool number one non-variant, uh, and then I also picked up the Deadpool number one variant, uh, kind of a lame variant if you ask me, but uh, I got it for less than cover price, so I couldn't pass that up, uh, and then one one thing that I also got late to was uh, Deadpool versus Thanos, and I've actually been able to find uh, the first couple issues of that, so now I have the first four, um, this is next on my to read list, so... Uh, I really enjoy the Deadpool character. Uh, can't wait to see how that one goes. Even though the the art does look a little more cartoony, but I'm willing to uh, forgive that. And uh, I just found this one last night here, Civil War number one variant edition. Uh, got it at uh, cover price, I believe. So I was happy to find that. Uh, next up, I have some some books that came highly recommended to me. Haven't had a chance to pull these up. A uh, few of these open yet. Um, first up, we have Accend number one with this cool cover here. Uh, looks like a Street Fighter cover. Haven't even had a chance to break this one open yet, but uh, it was recommended to get for me, and I uh, can't wait to bust that open. Then we have Citizen Jack number one. Uh, came highly recommended. This is another one. Haven't had a chance to open yet. Same story here, Paper Girls. Uh, one of my next ones to read. 
really cool looking cover uh image comics of course and uh that looks like an interesting series so i can't wait to read that one did get a chance to open this book up and i gotta say this is my weirdest book of the week i'm still not sure what to make of this book uh the entire premise is kind of strange basically uh the <laughs> like the mona lisa comes to life they they think the mona lisa is threatened so they pull it out they pull her out of the picture and i don't know i don't, I don't even know how to explain it but if you're into art at all this is a great book the the art inside is cool. I'm just not sure about the storyline yet. It's kind of odd. I really, I did get a chance to open up and read this uh, this book here, Johnny Red, and this is by Titan Comics. Uh, this book is awesome. It's kind of a throwback to a war story. Uh, I was never really into any of the war books when I was a kid, um, any of the Silver Bronze Age war books, but this book is really cool. Uh, highly recommend it. Check it out. Grab a copy if you find it. Uh, it's a small printing, and uh, pretty sure, pretty sure you'll like that. This is my book of the week, um, The Hangman, number one, by Dark Circle Comics. Really crazy story, really brutal story. The art in it's really cool, and it's it's a fresh. I, I've never heard of The Hangman before, so to me, it's a fresh story, and uh, I definitely recommend picking this book up. If you're going to pick up any independent book this week, definitely get The Hangman, number one. Really cool book. This was something I was really stoked to get. I've been looking for a Spider Woman number one for quite a while. I got this uh, 50% off, so I got it for five fifty, and uh, it's in really great shape. Uh, I pulled it open. The the pages aren't completely white, but in my opinion, I really like getting the mid grade books because then I can actually open them and not feel guilty about you know damaging them or anything like that. And uh, I was really happy to get this. I actually have been trying to get one on eBay too, but the price just keeps going up north of 30 bucks. So I was really stoked to get this uh, for half price off and uh, really cool book. I don't have any of the other Spider-Man or Spider-Woman issues, but the first issue is such an iconic cover. I just, I really wanted that in my collection and uh, I'm really glad I found that. Next up, uh, some Silver Age that I was really stoked to get for 50% off also. Um, Submariner never really was into the Submariner until I found uh, the really early uh, Silver Age, and the art really interests me in this. So I was able to get number four uh, for fifty percent off, so for five bucks. Then I got number five, which is the first appearance of the Tiger Shark, so I got that for fifty percent off. Number six with the Tiger Shark on the front again, also fifty percent off, and number seven. So I got. I got four of those in the run, um, and they're all in decent shape. They're all mid-grade, uh, and I don't feel bad about opening them up and, and checking them out and looking at the really cool really cool art. I mean, this is – I've loved this cover. My brother got this book uh, a couple months ago, and he featured it. And uh, ever since then, I've been looking for one, and this is the first one I found – first time I found one, and it was 50% off. So I came out uh, pretty lucky in the end of this one, and I'm really stoked about this run now. Uh, I'm looking for the first three so I can maybe get one through ten of the original uh, Silver Age Submariner series. So that'd be really cool. Next up, just some random books I pulled. Uh, we got Ant-Man number ten here. Cool looking, cool looking cover. Uh, Ant-Man I was never a huge fan of, but I've been getting more into it since the movie came out, and uh, this one interests me. Some of the old covers really are really cool to me, so I couldn't pass this one up 50% off. I actually, uh, one of my fu uh, future uh, hauls is going to be based on my Doom collection, and I picked this one up pretty much solely based on the, the fact that Doom is on the cover. Um, it's kind of lame, I guess, to just buy a book because someone's on the cover, but... I have quite a, a Doom's by far my favorite character, so um, my favorite Marvel character, and uh, I had to pick this one up. So now, this will be in a future haul video as well, w along with the rest of my Doom collection. This is one I I snagged off eBay for three bucks. Uh, this is the Avengers number one seventy six. The Avengers is such a huge series; it's really hard to put together uh, any particular storyline. And I'm not I'm not super versed in the Avengers, so. If you guys know uh, or have any recommendations for any runs through the series that are really interesting, please let me know in the comments because, uh, you know, 
I'm just getting back into it, into the Avengers, and uh, it's like I said, it's a huge run, so I'm not really even sure where to start. This book was really cool. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty into the Silver Age, and I've been looking for a lot of uh, Silver Age X Men, which end up being really pricey, usually uh, between the fifty and one hundred dollar range, and that's just for me out of my price range um, for what I'm willing to spend on a book. So um, this, the original Amazing Adventures, are pretty cool. That in the fact that I can uh, go back and, and go through some of these stories. And uh, what interests me about the Silver Age uh, is I really like the characters and the way that they're portrayed. And they're, uh, I love the old, the old uniforms they wore too. So original X-Men, awesome book, number nine here. And then uh, my final book of the week, Black Mask Comics, Clandestino. Uh, this book has been getting a lot of hype on the internet and, uh, I, I read, you know, if you find this book, you know, it's going to be a very short run. So try and grab a couple copies if you're into speculation. So, uh, I've been looking for them everywhere, everywhere in the Bay area, uh, is sold out, but I have been lucky enough to, to find a few copies. So I'm sitting with four copies right now. These, the variant covers right now are going, um, a, a little more expensive on eBay, but Last time I checked uh, yesterday, this book had doubled in price already, uh, and it's only been out for less than a month, so that's pretty good. Um, I'm not sure what my plan is with these yet. I'm not really big into to buying and selling. Uh, I'm pretty much into just you know buying for my collection, but if I do have a chance to uh, get a few copies of a, a good speculative book, then I'm going to you know try and get it, and this is one of them that I grabbed. So uh, this is a crazy story. Uh, if you haven't heard anything about it, uh, it's pretty insane. Uh, I can't wait for the the next issue to come out. Uh, I'm not sure where the story's going to go, but it looks really cool. If you see one of these, definitely swoop it up. It's worth the buy, even if you're not going to read it. It's worth the uh, worth the investment. And uh, like I said, I'm going to have a few more hauls coming really fast. I've been buying uh, quite. A, I've been getting a lot of good deals lately, so. I've got a lot of books in, in the works. I really appreciate you guys watching my haul. Uh, more hauls to come. I'm going to try and do some more fun stuff on this channel. So make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for checking out my comic layer.